Hello, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another pick a card. Another pick a card reading. We have pile number one, the Gilded Tarot, pile number two, the Modern Witch, and pile number three, the Light Seers. So I'm going to take Give you a moment to make your choice on what deck actually feels right today. Take a few deep breaths as you choose your deck. And this reading will be a reading for the collective. This is a timeless reading. So when you see this reading, it's when it was meant for you. And let's get started. Deck number one, the Gilded Tarot. I'm going to take a few shuffles. Star. I feel like this can be a wish coming through. We also have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a wish. Deck number one, yeah, there is definitely a wish coming through. Seven of Pentacles. This is something you've been working on. You've been working on this very hard. All Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is something you have been working on. This is actually coming into fruition. This is your wish come true. This is your fulfillment. Um, and I feel like this is very balanced. I feel like this is going to put you in a position to give, um, to give to your loved ones. And this is something, like I said, you've been working on. With the star in the middle, I feel like this is something that has been a dream come true. This is something that you've been thinking about doing for a very long time, and you're finally bringing it into fruition. You are finally feeling renewed in this situation. It's bringing you so much contentment. But I feel like if you've been manifesting money or the success, I feel like that that's what's coming. You've been working very hard with this. And finally, you're going to see the fulfillment. You're going to see the, the success of the situation. I feel like you've kind of gone through the process. You've renewed your, you've kind of renewed yourself. You've went inside to bring clarity. Um, but now with the
the star and the nine of cups, those miracles are coming forth. It's because you had faith in yourself. You had faith in the situation. And if you didn't have faith in the situation, um, if you didn't believe in yourself, obviously the universe believed in you. So th this is your hard work coming forward. And right now, um, you're coming into the spotlight. Your wishes are being granted. You have contentment in this situation. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I feel like since this seems like a money and dreams, reading, um, I'm kind of pulled to the Moonology Manifestation deck. Let's see what this oracle has for you. Let's see what the Moonology Manifestation has in store for you. Let's see. The last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind. Clear your mind and accept your success. And last quarter moon in Virgo, attend to the details. That's very straightforward, actually. Um, clearing your mind and paying attention to the details. <laughs> and on the bottom of the deck, new moon in Aries. New moon in Aries. Go for it. Just go for it. You've got this. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for our wonderful readings. Okay. I'm kind of pulled to pull another card. Let's see. Let's see, we'll see what our spirit animals have to say. I really like this deck of spirit animals. actually 
definitely an opportune time to go within yourself to do that inner shadow work with that new moon just uh, passing through. The new moon actually tells us to focus on forgiving, to focus on renewing ourselves, to focus on uh, healing past wounds, forgiving ourselves and others. So I believe that this, yeah, this is the reading for that collective. Wow, okay. 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 Yeah, I believe with the hermit, you're actually going in, going in to find your wisdom, to find your clarity. And it's a long time coming. It looks like you really needed this rest, reason rejuvenation. Um, I, ho I hope you're taking time to meditate in order to position and ground yourself. Yeah, you have the temperance. The temperance, it's actually bringing more balance and harmony. Um, you're finding you have self-control. Uh, you're able to take in for moderation. King of Cups. The King of Cups in this situation, I feel like maybe you have a very supportive partner. This could be male or female, or maybe you have a very supportive friend who has been kind of helping you through the situation. Um, or this could be a new love coming through. This could be someone who has seen the work that you've done on yourself and is kind of in awe of you. But I feel like this is very strong, strong uh, renewal. Yeah, the Page of Swords. two, I feel like with the page being on the bottom, I feel like this could be something that you've been studying. This is, could be is something that you're very curious about. And it's something that can bring a lot of fulfillment. This could bring a lot of fulfillment. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and the sword, Page of Swords. Yeah, this is something that can bring you new money, new career, new opportunities. And I believe that you being your curious self, you are going to look into these opportunities that are coming forward for you. Okay, let's some cards. Rebirth. Yes. Okay. You have the butterfly. You have reinvented yourself. This is a rebirth. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have the brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Very beautiful energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have the guardian. So as you're going through this journey, you are being protected. 
gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Yeah, through this journey, you are protected. Let's get an angel card. Angel Michael, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Oh, that's beautiful. You're, you're actually being protected by Archangel Michael. And on the bottom you have patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message of renewal, reinvention. You are becoming the person that is in tune with your life purpose. I think this is really beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, deck number two, that is all. If this message has resonated with you, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Okay. Welcome, pile number three. This is my Believe the Impossible is Possible card. So let's see what's going to come out as well. The Page of Cups also can be a studious person. Um, this is also the when pigs will fly. He's kind of daydreaming in this situation. As his body is grounded, his feet are in the air. So, this could also mean that. You may receive a message about love or something that you love. Um, a new message could be coming forward for you. Okay, and the Emperor. This is very strong energy. If this is love, I believe a very strong person is going to come into your life. Uh, the emperor, that can be male or female. We're not going to put any gender on these cards. 
that he's well respected. He's a strategic planner. He will have your back whenever you need it. He's there with you. And the Seven of Swords. This card is It's usually the card he's walking away with seven swords. He's usually stealing from his enemy the seven swords. But I feel with this energy, the seven of swords, he's kind of walking away from something. He's under the moon. And also the nine of swords. And the bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. So, with this energy, I think someone is actually coming in from the past. Maybe you will reunite with someone from the past. And I want you to be careful for this sneaky energy. Something sneaky is kind of looming with this one. Um, and the Knight of Swords, this is very quick energy. He's, he's running towards his path. He's kind of lost his motorcycle. He's running towards it as it moves along by itself. And the Queen of Wands, she's actually... The Queen of Wands is actually very fiery energy, as you see in the card. She's she's manifesting something into reality. I'm kind of seeing the Queen of Wands as the Emperor as two counterparts. I believe this person is going to give you a message. They're going to send you a message, maybe a text. Offering you some kind of invitation. But I'm feeling like instead of running towards a situation, slow down and take a look at what's before you, before you take a leap. Okay, let's see what these spirit animals have to say. dragonfly. It says magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Okay. I had to grab my glasses real quick. I'll be right back. All right. I can barely see that card. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the polar bear, a mystic. 
Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Okay. Okay, and let's see what our angels have to say. angel card is Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. And at the bottom of the deck you have Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. And I'm also feeling like I'm going to take an allergy card as well. Your dreams need a practical plan, new moon in Taurus. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. This is the end of pile deck pile number three. And uh, we'll go ahead and close the reading there. And if these readings resonated with you please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and thank you so much for your support i appreciate you many thanks to you many blessings love and light